So it looks like AZ decided to clear some things up regarding Kayla. Now she posted a new video and decided to address a few things. One being the fact that she was not being fake towards Kayla and two letting it be very clearly known that she did not get out in the field for Nadia and in fact the only reason why her and Kayla got into it was because Kayla was the one that called her out. So y'all check out what she had to say. So um, the whole Kayla thing to me was just I'm not gonna say we was friends because we always say it like I always made it clear, especially me and Zay, I always made it clear who was friends in the house and who wasn't. Um, we were close, but it was more like on a, like how me and Nadia is. I wouldn't even say that. Like, she was getting to that point, but I looked at her like a little sis. Like, when she ain't had money to go get food, I used to pay for her shit. Um, when she come to me, oh... I need my hair done, but I ain't got no money. I don't get paid. Can I pay you then? I let her slide and let her pay me, you know, when she get paid from Twitch or when she get paid from YouTube. So I wouldn't be doing it like that on the back end if I ain't really fucking her for real, for real. I actually find the whole situation weird as shit. She even called me out. That's what y'all not understanding. Only reason AZ was because I was called out. I was never supposed to defend no one. I never supposed to fit defend no one. I was because AZ was called the fuck out. Not once, but twice. Then the bitch ran up on me the second time. So, um, that whole situation, I was never fake to nobody. I could never be fake to nobody. I'm always a thoroughbred. No, that bitch was just weird. And obviously, she had secret animosity because bitch, who called me out for her? Even that whole day when she was on live, all that, bitch, I was at Nadia house cooking, chilling. Like, what? And that's why I went so hard after because what? You're weird. But that's that. We ain't even gonna get that too much time. But that's just how I feel about it. So now some supporters feel away about AZ pointing out what she had done for Kayla and throwing it back in her face. But aside from that, those that did not know that Kayla actually was the one that called out AZ as to why they had their little situation. Now that y'all do know that, does that change y'all perspective on how things went down? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. So now let's move on over to all the drama surrounding Influencer City. Because it seems as though once Nunu had unfollowed the cast of Influencer City, which a lot of supporters felt was due to the lack of support regarding his music, that it has now turned into a big conflict amongst the group. So now yesterday when the Messy Maj page posted this story about what had happened after Nunu unfollowed everyone, Terry dropped down in the comment section with a lot of things to say. Basically expressing his annoyance with everyone being concerned that Nunu feels away, but he has been saying this about the lack of support that he's been receiving for the longest. And every time he speaks up, people call him a crybaby. So he posted all of this, just basically getting it off his chest as to how he felt about this entire situation. But that's not all, because he then also went on live. Now this turned into quite a discussion. But with Terry going off on his castmates, Ida joining the live and co-signing everything that Terry has to say and feel, along with TJ and and BJ joined the live to also give their grievances and claiming that they had been supporting Terry with this whole conversation then ending of with Maj joining the live and clearing the air by saying some things that a lot of people have been thinking but not willing to say out loud so y'all check this out support and return and I hope nobody go I'm not picking up your phone calls if you calling me to argue that you support me I'm not crazy so if you calling me to check me about what I said on this live you better save your time because I'm not picking up. If you calling me to tell me that, sh that if you calling me to tell me something decent, then I'm going to pick up. But if you call me and you even for an inch try to check me about what I just said, I'm going to hang the phone up on you, not in the mood, and go on about my day. I'm not playing. I'm not doing it no more. All this. No, they don't support me. This, da, 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 da. da. I feel like everybody should shut when it comes to the they don't support me because from what I looked at everybody in this group been supporting each other for real I'm the only one in that group who don't get as much support as the other do I don't know why I don't know why but that's just how I look at it that's just how I feel can't nobody tell me how I feel I'm not crazy I'm not tripping don't go saying Terry you don't support them either. They don't support. I I reciprocate. I'm a I'm a person who reciprocate. I reciprocate energy. And it's like it's crazy too because I just met Asia and Naya this year. Just just getting close with them. Why are they more Naya? Naya created a whole dance move to my song. Second day, don't know her from a can of paint. Terry, let me create a. You know what I'm saying? 
You would think for one second somebody would be like, hey, Terry, let me do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do your song on my page. Nobody ever said that but Naya. Nobody. Asia, another one. I drop a snippet. She already going to go get her hair done doing a transition today. I just met these people. So around well, way before these girls not doing that. TKB, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. TJ, you too. TJ, you, I don't ever see TJ use not one of my sounds. TJ ain't never used one of my sounds. TJ ain't never reposted. Posted, you feel me? He probably reposted a few. Like, I, to be honest, I'm probably wrong, TJ. But I ain't never seen a story repost from TJ. And I grew a bond with him outside of him being with Benet. I, I ain't never seen a repost from him. I, out of all the TK boys, it's KJ. That's who I felt like. Like, it's probably not on social media, but like in real life, KJ KJ and Brooklyn would like be, be like put do something towards like, hey, Terry, let's get this done for you. I ain't never got that energy from nobody. Nobody else. That's how I feel. I'm not with the fake. I'm not with the fake theatrics. I'm not doing it no more. It's no. Seeing that post on Messy Mars just now just blew my whole my whole entire high. I said, hold on. Now I'm gonna say something. Cause like, what the hell? I know nobody else is complaining about them uh, support. I can't tell y'all how y'all feel, but it's just like that's just what I'm seeing. Cause it's like, oh no, I'm not tripping. <laughs> Support, and then they say, "Oh, that's probably why Nunu unfollowed." Oh, it cannot be. <laughs> Trust me, it can't be the reason Nunu unfollowed nobody. I feel like Nunu is doing a rollout and he's trying to gain views for his new song. That's what I feel. Like I said, I put them, but I think it's I'm I'm gonna put them separately from a distance. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> putting myself in that no more. It's raps. That's drained me mentally. It's all like you like this. It's just like, come on, fam. Like, I just know y'all not talking. I gotta get my together, okay? I need to focus on Terry. I can't keep draining myself and working on other people brand and 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 and, 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 and saying me and to people who's not giving not giving me that full support like I do them. I put everything to the side for Influencer City. Everything. All my ideas. I said no nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Influencer City. I'm gonna go run it up with them. I'm gonna go do that. I don't even get an inch of support man. That's over with. Like I said, after from a distance. Harry. Yeah. Now, sir, let me tell you something. Let me just tell you this. Do not sit here and get on this internet and keep talking about these who are not supporting because at the end of the day, everybody don't feel no support and they don't give that you don't feel it. I promise you. They don't right. care. None of them care. Right. They don't care. They never cared. And it's okay because in every way, all of us feel like we not supported. So it just, you support your friends and whoever don't support you, just not your friend. And it's fine. You don't got to be friends right. with nobody. Okay. Just focus on you like you're supposed to and how you've been doing. Move how you're supposed to move. Don't keep clocking the people that not supporting you. Peep it. Move on. Yeah. Okay. You know that's that what I've been day, doing. Terry, though. Terry, I mean, you're successful on your own. You were I've been successful doing on your own. All year, it is like I had to say something today. It's like because it's like what I seen on done. the message. Like, time out, time out, out Terry. Did you or did you not Ben say this? And everyone yeah. called you annoying and that you're a crybaby and X, Y, and Z. But when everybody else say it, when they don't get that support, then everybody's like, yeah, they're not getting that support. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? DJ Everybody is very select and of, of who they support. That's it. That's all. Oh, bye. Um. Yeah. Ugh. And, Yo. Yo. Why so she do all that? But look, man. <laughs> look, 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 look. I just want to say more things, Terry. Yo. Terry, look. It's real, bro. Terry, I know you. Th I know you don't get the support how you're supposed to get it. To I mean, we all gonna keep it real because we never complain about it either. Because.
We don't get support either, but Terry, on tour, I always had your back. Terry on God, we, we always supported you, Terry on God. You know we yeah, on stage first. We went to clubs. DJ did on the tour. That's why I didn't get to mention Terry. Yeah, we turned it. Yeah, we went to clubs. I paid on to play your music. I don't give a fuck it was your birthday song. I was telling him to play your song because I love that song. Yeah, he I even lying. told you, BJ Terry B2B. B2B was the one who was supporting birthday song way more than anybody else. I said, Terry B2B. I said, B2B. Oh God, I said B2B in there because you always made a lot of money, you know, B2B, like, it don't matter what nobody got to say about you, be yourself, like, be, I will tell you all that. Terry. Can I just say something really quickly, BJ, instead of explaining and, you know, going down memory lane on what you have done for him in the past, wouldn't it just be a little bit more, you know, uh, apologetic instead of just saying that, you know, I did this, that, that, and a third, because clearly he doesn't feel like that. So as a friend that lacked on supporting him, won't you just say, you know what, bro, at the end of the day, you know what, I apologize if you feel that way. And, you know, as a friend, I feel like, you know, I could have been there a little bit more. And, you know, moving forward, I'll, I'll pick up on that supportive type, I mean, being that supportive type of friend. Other than trying to be the one to be up on live, reminiscing about the things that you did, did in the past, because he may not feel like that was supportive to him. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you go ahead, TJ, go ahead. Hey, listen, so ahead. Wait, hold on, see that. Hold on, hold on. So, look, 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 boom. So, look, I, you know, man. Oh. Damn, go ahead, Twan. All right. I didn't, I didn't mention the part about um, BJ support. I was talking about all the, like, you know, like the internet support. Like, it's like, it's like the thing, the, the thing is, BJ, I would, like, yeah, you support. I just met BJ. Yeah, he supported me, like, face to face in person. It's like when we separated, all that is like out the window. Like, okay, it's like, damn, nobody's there no more. Nobody's trying to. No, you feel me? It's like we not together no more. So it's like, okay, so it's just like, oh, it's cause he in our face type of moment. You feel me? That's how I kind of like felt. It was just like, okay, okay. Harry here. So I'm let me show him that I'm supporting him because I'm in his face. But when we separate, it's like, oh, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, go ahead. Dude. So look, boom, and, twin. Even 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 though on tour game. Look, we would turn everybody up, twin. When it was our turn, twin, nobody, nobody was found turning us up, man. Besides the girls. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, we we never, what I'm saying is like, we never complain. We never trip. You know what I'm saying? It's been times where we all felt like we was not supported. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, twin. Like, this is crazy to me, twin. You feel me? Like, because it's like, at the same time, twin, the same happened to us. Like, we we ain't trip. You feel me? Like, we ain't come to no internet body. We ain't do none of that shit, man, at all. No count, man, because I can carry that game. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day. Who did you Go feel ahead. like you didn't get support from, TJ? From we didn't get support from nobody, game? Nobody besides the girls, game? So Am I lying? I, it sounds like, it sound like it's a common denominator, if you ask me, because he feel like he don't it, get support it, from It is, twin. That's what I'm saying. So, it is, twin. Oh, it is. <laughs> Can, can I? Okay, so let me say something really quickly, right? When it comes to y'all two having something in common, y'all haven't got support from the same group. So if y'all haven't got support from the same group, when y'all think to put, wouldn't it be best for y'all to put on y'all thinking gaps that maybe y'all are supporting the wrong group that aren't supporting y'all because y'all being used to suck dry for y'all clout and, you know, supporters just to support somebody else that ain't supporting y'all and it sound like the group that I'm a name, everybody knows the name of it. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah it do make sense, all, but I ain't gonna count. So they, they how we were thinking though. From one group. Facts. Yeah, like they how we, they how we were thinking though, gang. Like, cause like we we genuinely everybody. You feel me? Like we genuinely. It ain't cousin no YouTube. It ain't cousin no internet. It ain't nothing. It ain't none of that. You feel me? Like we genuinely. So that's why we still surround us around them. That's why we still surround us around them. You see what I'm saying? But when we learn, gang. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. but it's just like when it comes to support, twin, like. I feel like if anybody gonna speak on it, say we got the right to speak on it. We got the right to speak on it. That's what I said. said I said I'm not gonna lie. I, I did say that. I said I'm not gonna lie. TKB kind of have a right to speak on it too, because it's like that the the support that they try to give them, it's not like the energy is not for real. Like you you can feel the genuine. Like you feel me? Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel when the when it's genuine. Gang, okay, you can. Yeah.
It was like I think Kawhi was a couple. I don't know. So yeah, I feel like I mean, Kawhi was a couple. Was up I feel one like job and one job only. Y'all was meant to bring searches back from the dead, and I hate to be the one to say it, but it's the truth. It's the honest truth. Y'all was all the trending topics, and y'all brought mindless behaviors back to life. And ain't nobody gonna say it because everybody's scared to say it. But if it wasn't for y'all selective individuals being on the certain show, certain TikToks and things like that, when nobody give, them. and I'm gonna be the one to say it. So now y'all let me know what y'all feel about what Maj had to say towards the ending of the video because as I said it seemed as though he was saying some things that a lot of people were thinking but not willing to say out loud because I have struggled with understanding as to why anyone who already had a name for themselves a brand supporters millions of followers that would put what they built for themselves to the side to then join influencer city and help build up someone else and their brand it never made any sense to me especially with the fact that they have no ownership of influencer city and on top of that they barely were getting paid so what exactly are they gaining from any this and it seems as though they're not even receiving the bare minimum of support so what was the point they're basically allowing themselves to be used by allowing others to benefit off of what they built for themselves i mean it's kind of crazy when you think about it just think about all those that came to the table with millions of supporters do y'all think they're in a better position now than before joining influencer city have they elevated their brands and what about their reputation so now there are a lot of supporters that feel like you know the only people that are really benefiting from influencer city are those that helped create this whole concept which was the rated r boys and those outside of them who has benefited Benefited are those that came to the table barely known and barely had supporters such as Nia and Nadia who have really been able to elevate by being surrounded by so many different people who have came to the table with millions of supporters. So let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section down below and I'll catch you next time with some more school. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks.